guys, Insane Drummer. I know I haven't done a video in a while, but uh, been really busy with school, and uh, yeah, just been really busy with school. It's my senior year, although I think I'm going to have one more year to go. I've been practicing this guy for uh, Woodwind Methods, you know how, if you know my trombone video I did, because I had brass methods, but... At least I can get sound out of it now. I couldn't get sound out of it a week ago. <laughs> but this lesson, of course, the air conditioning comes on as soon as I try to make a video. It never fails. Whatever. It's better than having no air conditioning, right? This lesson is for advanced drummers, and uh, the whole purpose of it is to open up your playing. And basically, it's taking the hi hat off the beat to the ands or the es and the uhs or some kind of offbeat subdivision, like this. Getting this hand right here, your hi-hat hand or your rod or whatever, um, a little bit more freedom. Most people know the and pattern. Most people know the and, and, and. But not many people practice the E uh pattern. One and two and three and four and one three and four and one three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So it's something to practice. And basically how you get into it is you go from going one and two and three and four and, and at the end of four, you're going to come into one again like normal, but then you're going to do a sixteenth note that's going to get you into E. One E, a two E, a three E, a four E, a one. Of course, we learn it just like we learn everything else on drums. We first play one and three on the uh, bass drum and two and four on the snare. One and two and three and four. And you go out of it by going a one at the end. So one E, a two E, a three E, a four E, a one. Okay? What this does for you is it it helps your subdivision of sixteenths in your head. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E, three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. You can start getting those open hi hats on the E's and the U's now. And two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So you can start opening up and really getting into those spaces that might not feel as comfortable, um, like the ands used to not feel comfortable until you got used to it. But the E and the U really feels a lot less comfortable than the and. Um, but once you get it, you can start breaking into those spaces and play wherever you want. So that's like an example with the bass drum. One E. So you're doing, you're copying it with the bass drum with this hand. One E. And opening the hi-hat on E. One E. you can do it without the bass drum so that it's more of a individual and syncopated idea between the hi-hat and everything else. So definitely play around with that idea, guys. Um, 
You know, advanced drumming is all about opening up your horizons to more and different sounds. Um, and that's also what my book is about, Advancing Your Groove. And I actually have a section in this book about uh, advanced open hi-hat placement. Um, so yeah, get my book and uh, we'll be talking about more topics out of it and uh, other just advanced concepts. I like to stick with concepts because with concepts you can do a lot more than just, hey man, learn this beat. That stuff is good too, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, individual grooves teach you individual ideas and uh, things that you need to learn. But what concepts do is they say, hey, check out the E and the uh, you can put this on any beat. And without the bass trimmer, with. I'm a, I'm a concept kind of guy because that's how I play. I think subdivision wise, I think concept wise. And so my options are like amazingly big. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll check you later.